All right, guys. So I'm in front of my dorm. Yeah, man. This is this is where the magic happens. My editing happens. Where I sleep. Everything, man. I don't. I don't even have much to say, man. Like, let's let's get straight into it, bro. Y'all see the outside. Y'all seen the outside before my YouTube. But anyways, if y'all haven't, go go watch my channel. Go watch all my old videos. Definitely like them. Subscribe. Uh, let me know what y'all think. We we about to start the the dorm tour right now, man. Let's go. Here's the entrance to my dorm. On the left, we have a little seating area and one of the stairways. On the right, we have the Ai. Ai is the polite thing to call older woman in China. Ai just means auntie, and she's basically our building manager. We have multiple Ai's, and they'll handle any issues we have related to the dorm and have all our paperwork for scholarships to sign. Here, which is the right side of the hallway, we have a little international student's office. This will help with our visa stuff. Some of the building managers are also in that room. And on the left side, this is the hallway towards the first floor. And we have our little laundry room here. We only have three washers and two dryers. So you can imagine it gets pretty hectic in there. So you kind of have to find weird times to wash your laundry because it's always pretty busy and either the washer or the dryer, something is always broken, one of them or whatever. Uh, but yeah, that's about it with the laundry room. And then here is the first floor. Uh, we have six floors in this building. I live on the fifth floor. We have no elevators, by the way, so we have to walk up the stairs. There's two staircases. This is the staircase I generally take, so I'm walking there right now. And it's about 90 steps, and yes, I counted. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I walk up about 90 steps and down 90 steps multiple times per day. So as you can imagine, I get a great leg workout. And I'll just note a few things about our dorms, and I did mention them in my previous video, so if you haven't watched, first of all, Go back and watch it but second of all i'll just name a few things about our dorms so this is the international master student dorms so all students that live in this dorm are international students from various different countries around the world and most of the students that live in this dorm are master students but there are a few bachelor students who live here as well we are a co-ed dorm so there are both men and women in this dorm and we all have single rooms and single bathrooms which is great uh, some of the Chinese dorms, actually all of the Chinese dorms do not have that luxury. And they also are not co-ed in the Chinese dorms. So it's either a man dorm or a woman dorm, and they all have roommates. So lucky for us, uh, we are one of the few dorms who have this luxury. So I'm pretty grateful for it. Uh, here's me just walking up the five floors, <laughs> the 90 stairs just to get to my room. And here's the entrance to my room. Okay, so right behind my door or to the right when I enter is this closet. It's pretty big and I'm actually pretty blessed to get it because not every room has it. But at the top here, I just keep like toilet essentials, bathroom essentials. And then down here in the main part of the closet, I uh, hang up my shirts, uh, roll up my pants and shorts and put them at the bottom. And then keep my yoga uh, mat in there as well as some laundry equipment. Okay, at the bottom here, I keep a lot of my gym clothes as well as my cleaning supplies. Uh, my drawers are pretty empty because I already started packing. And here's where I hung up some hooks so I can hang my bags, my camera bag, my helmet, and some keys. And then I put up some of this drapery just to make the room a little bit brighter before it was just white walls. So <laughs> I had that stuff. And don't mind the Wi-Fi box. They had nowhere else to put it, so I had to like tape it along the walls. And then on the left side, right in the little mini hallway area, is the entrance to the bathroom. So here's my bathroom. I do have a little theme going on in my room, so let me know in the comments what you think the theme is. Here's the water heater tank. Um, it lasts about 20 minutes if it's on full blast for hot and about 40 to 45 minutes, maybe even an hour if it's not on full blast for hot water. Um, you do have to pay for it, but it's covered in my scholarship, so I don't really have to pay, but it is very cheap. Um, we also have the sink in the shower, which is not super bad. Um, I never really had that before, but it's pretty cool because it's a small room, so I guess it's efficient for the smaller size room. Got a little mirror. I uh, have the shower head. I have some things I have for my shower in the little bin up there. Um, and my last previous person who lived in my room also left all of these stickers, which glow in the dark. So they're pretty cool. Um, so thanks to whoever lived there before me. And they also left all of this extra designing of stickers. So I was pretty excited to have some extra stuff in there so my room isn't so dry. Then there's me in the mirror, of course. And here's where I hang some more stuff. And then... Um, if we come out here, I hang my winter jacket up top and I have some laundry to do, but there's where I leave my laundry. Don't mind me. I have to do laundry before I move out. But here is my room. It is very small, but it's okay. Had a decent time here while I was here. 
Um, I leave, I bought this actually, I leave a bunch of my snacks, my Wi-Fi box, etc. there. Here's my little nightstand where I leave everything I need to charge or whatever I have at night. Here's some more stuff I hung just to make the room brighter. Um, and here is a big drapery I bought to cover that big wall over there. It's pretty empty. And here's my bed. Don't mind the mess. But yeah, there's my bed. It's like a full-size bed almost. But the beds here are super hard. So I had to get a mattress pad. And here's where I leave my shoes just to keep them out of the way. And here is my desk where I do all of my editing and schoolwork because I'm very studious. And there's my chair. Here's the carpet I bought from Ikea which still goes with my theme. So let me know what it is, what you think it is at least. Here's a clock that I also bought from Ikea. And then on the left here is the AC slash heating unit. It is clutch in the winter, but also very clutch in the summer. Um, but this is also super cheap as well. And it's also covered in a scholarship. I'll say all of this stuff is maybe like one UN per hour, like that plus the water uh, heater. And here's some fake leaves that I bought for the wall. And then there's the mirror and there's me checking myself out. <laughs> um, yeah. So here's a everything draw. If you know, you know. <laughs> I just got all my utensils and stuff in there, whatever I need. And a bunch of stuff I don't know that I had. I just threw in a draw down there. Um and here's another big dresser thing they got. There's me, of course, checking myself out again. Ooh, look at that catch, bro. I know y'all seen that. That was mad random. But anyways, here is another big dresser I got. I just got some random stuff in here. I hang my hats in there. hang my sweaters in there. Got some pants rolled up at the bottom. And then at the bottom, I keep underwears, socks, undershirts, t-shirts, etc. But yeah, man, this is, this is basically mainly my room. Like, it's, it's really not that much to it. So outside, I have the balcony, and I bought these clothing racks, so obviously I can hang out my clothes if I don't catch the dryers those days. And here's my view, which is the favorite part of my room. I'm super blessed to have this nice view, so I enjoyed it the time I've been here. Sometimes I'll sit out, for example, now, and just, I don't know, just take in the good weather or read or watch something outside. Oh, I didn't see there. Hey, guys. Anyways, um, oh, yeah, somebody wrote this on the wall, and it's in Korean, and I don't know how to read it. So if you know what it says, please let me know in the comments. Um, and yeah, at the end of the day, it's a very small room. Um, uh, a lot of rooms in China are very small because, I mean, they have the second largest population in the world with about 1.4 billion people. So here's me trying to measure it. I'll say it's about one and a half times of me stretched out. Uh, but yeah, that's basically my room tour. So see you guys in the next one.